Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Scorpio. Uh, this is going to be for the second half of your August from the 16th to the uh, 30th. Uh, we are going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the second half of August. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a, uh, if you're looking for um, a reading that's specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Um, also like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about uh, Scorpio, Scorpio, over energies for Scorpio. What is surrounding Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? What can Scorpio expect for the uh, second half of their August from the 16th to the 30th for Scorpio, for Scorpio. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here in the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy here. So I just feel like you're kind of like going along with the program here. Yeah, it's just kind of like taking things as it comes, enjoying new experiences. Uh, you know, it could be that, you know, during this time, you guys are traveling here a lot, moving around a lot. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, and the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy here. The Six of Wands here and the Six of Swords, yeah. Um, things are smooth sailing for you, I would say. Yeah, um, you know, perhaps the trip that you guys are going on, perhaps you guys might be going on a yacht. Maybe you guys are going on the cruise or something like that. But whatever this is, you know, I do feel like you're going to be experiencing this with people, people that are close to you, you know, friends and family and stuff like that. But yeah, everything is kind of smooth sailing. I would say everything is chill here. Uh, we have the King of uh, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here, and the Seven of Swords here. Okay. I mean, just be careful of uh, people in or around you that's trying to sabotage your process here. Okay? Because I just feel like you're in this place of just really connected with yourself. Uh, connected with your intuition, connected with your emotions here. You know, you could be in this energy of kind of like pursuing your goals, pursuing what you want here, or that you have plans here in the future or in the near future, but there are someone or that there is people here that's trying to sabotage that. Okay, maybe make sure you stand your ground. Okay, make sure you form firm boundaries with these individuals and let these people know either you stand with me or you're against me. Uh, you know, that seven of swords could also be an indication that you are in self-preservation -preser mode right now because things are going so well for you. You don't want anyone to ruin that for you. Okay. I, I feel like you wouldn't allow it though, uh, Scorpio. Uh, we have the high priestess, cancer, Pisces energy here. So, you know, I just feel like you are in this energy of really just trusting your higher self here trusting your own inner truth and you're just like i said i just feel like you're just going with the program i mean that fool card is the energy of someone here who lives like footloose fancy free and just kind of enjoys new experiences that are coming towards you uh we have the ten of swords here and the six of wands we have the six of swords here and the king of swords libra aquarius gemini here some of you guys could be going through like a major ego death here too yeah some of you guys could be going through a major ego death where you guys are just like I said, trusting your higher self. Yeah, kind of like trusting those frequencies that are in and around you, those higher frequencies here too, all right? So it might have taken you guys a while to do that, but, but I feel like you guys are really kind of like, kind of like, like I said, you guys are just enjoying the ride here. Uh, Knight of Cups here and the Eight of Swords, the uh, Seven of Swords here, and the Wheel of Fortune here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're overcoming some sort of fear that you've you've been uh, holding on to that, that you haven't been letting go of. But I do feel like a lot of you might be kind of removing some like mental heaviness that you've been experiencing here. OK, Wheel of Fortune here. So I feel like, you know, one of the things I'm getting here, I just feel like you're just 
going along with the process, surrendering here, and just allowing things to work out the way that it should work out, you're just in this energy of just really, really like you're trusting the process here. You just know that, you know what, even though I've gone through some hard times or that I'm, maybe I'm going through some difficult times right now, uh, things are getting better, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, you're just kind of going along with it just to see what unfolds, yeah. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know, look out for, and work on here for the second half of their August? Uh, we have the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy, and the Five of Swords. We have the Page of Swords here and the Ten of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups. Temperance and the Five of Swords here. You're definitely in this like very peaceful and this really balanced place here. With the Five of Swords here, you, this could be an indication that you're putting yourself first. You know, any sort of burdens, any sort of trauma, any sort of pain, let's say that's like dates back all the way to your childhood. I feel like a lot of that's being released here. Yeah, like I said, I just feel like there's an energy of you trusting the process here. You know, I feel like with the Three of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups, I just feel like your soul tribe, your community is supporting you on this. Like, I feel like they have your back. The universe has your back here too, Scorpio. The uh, Temperance card, your guides and your angels and your ancestors here too. The Ace of Swords, the... Uh, Five of Swords here and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Seems like you're trusting your truth here or that you're accepting truths here. You know, whatever you're going through here or that whatever you've been through. You know, this is about accepting the truth. This is about, you know, kind of like, you know, perhaps uh, finding closure in something here uh, because I do get the sense that you might be closing out something here with the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There you are right here. Uh, Page of Swords. We have the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. The Ten of Wands here and the Ace of Wands. There are, there's a new beginning that's about to happen here for you. Yeah, whatever this is, I feel like some of you guys are going through like a huge spiritual awakening. Like I said, you guys are just trusting the process, letting things unfold here. And I feel like that Ace of Wands could be an indication that, you know, you might be starting something new. Uh, you might have a new idea. You might start be starting a new business or something like that, or that you plan to start a new business, okay? Or that you're just going towards something or things that, you know, that you're really passionate about, that's emotionally fulfilling for you. Uh, this is about, you know, perhaps honoring your own truth here too, okay? Three of Pentacles here. Uh, we have the Three of Wands. We have the Three of Cups here and the Hermit Virgo Energy. Seems like you guys are making a lot of plans here. You know, with the Hermit card here, I just feel like, you know, some of you guys could be in this energy of doing some soul searching, some deep inner work here, okay? Um, some of you guys could be distancing yourself from certain people here, certain people that have hurt you, certain people that have betrayed you here. But like I said, even though, let's say, you know, you, like, maybe you got betrayed by someone, but I just feel like you're just kind of like enjoying the process in the way or that you're just going with the process or that you're trusting the process here even though you know being betrayed by someone is a very difficult thing it's not an easy thing you know so um scorpio i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye